Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us for Mass. Today is Thursday, April 30th. We are celebrating Thursday of the third week of Easter. Let us sing to the Lord, for he has gloriously triumphed. The Lord is my strength and my might. He has become my salvation. Alleluia. The day of resurrection, earth spread the news abroad. The paschal feast of gladness, the paschal feast of God. From death to life eternal, from earth to heaven's height. Our Savior Christ has brought us the glorious Lord of light. And good morning, everyone. Good morning, Father. As we continue our Easter journey, we pause now again to praise the Lord and receive the course sacramentally and spiritually. So let us begin in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and the peace of God our Father, the Lord Jesus Christ, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. And again, we know that we have the wonderful uh, love of Jesus in our hearts. And so once again, we can present our lives to him, confident of his forgiveness and mercy. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. And Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and your blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Now let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, let us feel your compassion more readily during these days when, by your gifts, we have known it more fully, so that those you have freed from the darkness of error may cling more firmly to the teachings of your truth. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The angel of the Lord spoke to Philip, get up and head south on the road that gives, goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza, the desert. So he got up and set out. Now there was an Ethiopian eunuch, a court official of the Candace, that is the queen of the Ethiopians, in charge of her entire treasury who had come to Jerusalem to worship and was returning home. Seated in his chariot, he was reading the prophet Isaiah. The spirit said to Philip, go and join up with that chariot. Philip ran up and heard him reading Isaiah the prophet and said, do you understand what you are reading? He replied, how can I unless someone instructs me? So he invited Philip to get in and sit with him this was the scripture passage he was reading. Like a sheep, he was led to the slaughter, and as a lamb before it shears is silent, so he opened not his mouth. In his humiliation, justice was denied him. Who will tell of his posterity? For his life is taken from the earth. Then the eunuch said to Philip, who reply, I beg you, about whom is this prophet saying this? about himself or about someone else. And then Philip opened his mouth and beginning with the scripture passage, he proclaimed Jesus to him. As they traveled along the road, they came to some water and the eunuch said, look, there is water. What is to prevent my being baptized? Then he ordered the chariot to stop and Philip and the eunuch both went down into the water and he baptized him. When they came out of the water, the spirit of the Lord snatched Philip away, and the eunuch saw him no more, <clears throat> but continued on his way, rejoicing. Philip came to Azotus, 
and went about proclaiming the good news to all the towns until he reached Caesarea. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> In our response to God's word this morning is, let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Bless our God, you peoples, loudly sound his praise. He has given life to our souls. He has not let our feet slip. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Hear now, all you fear God, while I declare what he has done for me. When I appeal to him in words, praise was on the tip of my tongue. Let all the earth cry out to God mm. with joy. And blessed be God who refused me not my prayer or his kindness. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draw him and I will raise him on the last day. It is written in the, in the prophets, they shall all be taught by God. Everyone who listens to my father and learns from him comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the father except the one who is from God. He has seen the father. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your ancestors ate the manna in the desert, but they died. This is the bread that comes down from heaven, so that one may eat it and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever, and the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, Father. So we continue reading from John chapter 6 to break the great bread of life discourse. And in it, uh, Jesus made a remarkable claim. Sometimes um, we just kind of let these words, you know, pass over our heads. But when, one day it came to me again that, uh, what did he just say? He said, if you eat my, if you eat my body and blood through the Eucharist, you will never die. That's an amazing, amazing claim that no one has ever truly been able to make before. Uh, we know we can extend life and so forth through medical technology, but never make that claim. It's a remarkable claim, and the world needs to know about it. And so that's what Jesus is saying, that I came from the Father to tell the world what the Father wants us and what the Father is going to give us. And now it's our job to go out and tell the world about that beautiful claim. And the Acts of the Apostles, our first reading this morning, is an example of someone doing exactly that. A wonderful deacon by the name of Philip, very kind and very enthusiastic about telling the world about that, happened to come across. And I, I don't think these things are coincidental. They happen to be on the same road uh, together, and that could even be a symbol of the, uh, of the same road in life, and they happen to meet. And uh, this, this, this Ethiopian eunuch was uh, reading from Isaiah. He had just come from Jerusalem, and he came to, to worship at the temple. He was searching for God, searching for meaning in his life. He had a good job. He had uh, probably lots of money because he had his own chariot to drive him back and forth. And um, but there was something missing. And just by coincidence, not really, uh, Philip and uh, Philip and this Ethiopian eunuch met. And Philip said, what are you reading? And he said, I'm reading from Isaiah. He said, I don't know what it means. He said, well, how could, I, how could I know what it means unless somebody explains it to me? And so Philip did. And just the Ethiopian man was so, so caught up in this whole beautiful mystery of the Eucharist and of, of Jesus Christ rising from the dead that he said, well, there's some water over there. Why can't we be baptized now? So they, he baptized him. 
Uh, what a beautiful example of, of evangelization. And that Pope John Paul, Pope St. John Paul II, uh, has had said, sort of toward the end of his pontificate, he said, I think the church has lost its spirit, lost its, its zeal to go out and proclaim the news, the good news of the gospel. And he encouraged all of us, all of us who are the baptized, to go and do that. And so maybe um, we need to think about that during these days of isolation as we continue to uh, not be able to come here or come anywhere else for that matter, and not too many places. Maybe we can ask ourselves, so, sometimes, um, you know, in this reading, Philip just felt that he should go down that road. He should do that. And I think we often have um, something in our hearts to say, maybe we should reach out to so-and-so. Maybe, maybe we should. And maybe try it and see what happens. And that's what, that's what Philip did. But we need to do that. And I think maybe uh, this wonderful technology that we are so blessed to have during these days could be a wonderful way of doing that, of getting the word beyond the church, beyond the confines of a building, out into the world and tell good news. So I'd encourage us all to pray about that and, and just to, as we had time in these days and continue to have the time, to think about what's really important in life. That's what that Ethiopian man, man did. He had lots, lots of things going for him that were good, but he started thinking about deeply about life and what's missing. And maybe we could just use that as a, a continuing, ongoing med, 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 meditation in our own days of, of confinement and let the Spirit speak to us in our hearts and how can we be evangelists like Philip. Let's uh, offer today again our prayers of petition. We pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for our Bishop, Bishop Benvera. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us pray as I do every morning, as we all do every morning. We pray for those who have died yesterday, those who will die today, and those who will die tomorrow from the pandemic. Uh, we pray to the Lord for them. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us pray for our government leaders, those on the federal, state, and local level, as they begin now to move into another phase of this whole crisis about when can we reopen places of, of worship even, and stores and so forth, and restaurants, but how we can do it with, with safety, that we do not give rise to more spreading of this disease. Let's just pray for them. It's a heavy responsibility that they have and they need our prayers and our love. So let's pray for them today. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let's pray for all of us that we become the Phillips of, the, of this day, those who reach out to others and just not preach at them, but just simply just by the joy of our, of our hearts that we know that we have received the Eucharist and uh, it's just something we want to share. So let's see if we can if we can reach out to our brothers and sisters in that regard, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And as always, we pause now for our own petitions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let's continue our prayer to Mary. And again tomorrow, May. I can't believe it's May already, but it's May tomorrow. And that's the month of Mary. So in preparation for that, let's pray. Hail Mary, full, full of grace, grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among my women, and blessed, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. 
It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, we come to share in the divinity of Christ. Our humanity. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. <clears throat> And now pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to lodge you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him, the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and his rising the life, rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as we claim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. You have set us free. And therefore, as we celebrate the memorial <clears throat> of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Joseph, our Bishop, and all the religious and clergy. Remember also our brothers and our sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And this morning we remember Joseph Nicolinus Sr. and Joseph Jr. and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Faustina and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> and now at the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope, and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. <clears throat> and Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Now let us share Christ's peace with one another. Peace. Peace, Father. And peace to everyone who is watching at home as well. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. And may the body of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Christ, keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Christ died for all, that those who live may live no longer for themselves, but for him who died for them and is risen. Alleluia. Fit panis hominum, 
Dat panis cercus figuris terminum, ores mirabilis manducat dominum, pauper servus, Et humilis. <clears throat> Let us pray our act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite, and unite myself wholly to you. Never, never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. In our prayer to St. Michael, St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all of the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. <clears throat> and now let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> and the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And the Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and to serve the Lord and one another. Thanks be to God. And have a great day, everybody. Stay safe. God bless. You too, Father. Thank you. Jesus Christ is risen today. Ha 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 ha. Hallelujah. Our triumphant holy day. Ha 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 ha. Hallelujah. Who did once upon the cross? Ha 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 ha. Hallelujah. Suffer to redeem our loss. Ha 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 ha, hallelujah. Thank you everyone for joining us for Mass this morning. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. for a daily Mass, May 1st. Uh, so we all take care of yourselves and enjoy the day. Hopefully it stays nice out there. Uh, God bless. Uh, happy Easter. He is risen. Hallelujah.